From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello everyone, I'm Shantae Passmore with some of the day's top stories. President Donald Trump is now at Walter Reed Medical Center to be treated for COVID-19. He is expected to remain there for at least a few days. The President and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive on Thursday. The President's announcement comes after one of his closest aides, Hope Hicks, tested positive for the virus Wednesday. Former Vice President and Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden and his wife Jill have tested negative for the virus. And a citywide COVID-19 alert in Norwich, where there is a positivity rate nearly five times the state average. The state is asking residents to limit trips and avoid indoor gatherings with people they don't live with. The city has created 10 additional testing sites in the last day, and we're told normal sites will also be expanding their hours this weekend. A new September report out says despite the drop in unemployment, job growth and hiring is still slowing down. The Labor Department reporting the economy added 661,000 jobs last month. That's a drop from the summer months. Despite the disappointing report, the unemployment rate fell from 8.4 to 7.9%. And in Ellington, nearly 40 horses made it out alive after a massive barn fire. This is video from Drone 3. The flames breaking out at Hillside Stables on Jobs Hill Road earlier today. 50 firefighters from seven departments responded to the scene. Officials say several horses took off into neighboring towns, but all of them have been found. No one was hurt. All right, the first weekend of October is looking uh, good. We're going to see a uh, sunshine mixing with some uh, partial cloudiness on Saturday. High temperatures will be in the 60s. It's going to be chilly Saturday night and autumn chill in the air for sure, although near 40. And then Sunday, mostly sunny with some late day clouds and a high of 66. Showers are possible on Monday, 64. Then Tuesday, partly sunny and milder, a high of 68. And Wednesday is going to be mild. It's going to be breezy too, a chance for afternoon showers. A cold front's going to be moving through late Wednesday. Wednesday and Wednesday night, and that's going to send temperatures tumbling for Thursday, a low of 48 and a high of 62 and windy. And Friday should be sunny, highs in the 60s. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.